what I've got here is series 25 of Lego's collectible minifigures. And I'm gonna teach you the secret to find out what's inside each box so you're getting exactly what you want. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Rids Bricks. What I've got here is a full set of Lego's 25th edition of the collectible minifigure series. Uh, I love minifigures, I love collecting the minifigures, and this set has got some fantastic new figures and especially some new accessories and side characters, animals, that are really exciting. So I can't wait to open them up. I wanted to share today a way that, and I tested this, that you can scan the QR codes on the bottom, not the barcode, but the QR code at the bottom of the boxes to help find out which set you've got. So I found a post on Reddit from Original Face 3891 that had codes for each of the different characters and boxes when you scan the QR code. So what you do is you scan the QR code with the bottom, with a QR code scanner app. So it did not work on my Apple phone's regular camera app, but this one worked with a QR code scanner. So I'm gonna just scan right here oh, and this bar scan and the number is 6471. And the last three are the most important, 962. So if you reference the list that I'll post in the comments down below, 962 is the goat herder. So let's open this up and see if we got the goat herder. And in fact, it's absolutely correct. And we've got the goat herder right there with the amazing new goat. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a full set that I ordered off of Minifigures Plus that we're gonna open up and see what the next set of the Lego Minifigures collectible series is looking like and how it's feeling. So we'll go through the entire set, we'll lay them out in front, and then I'll rate them from best to worst. Let's get started. So these are a few extra boxes that I picked up from the Lego store because I had to test this theory to make sure it worked. And it absolutely worked. So let's open up this full set. So it's a set of 12 and I've got all 12 right here. I definitely wanted a second goat and a second version of that character. So using the codes, I was able to figure out to get an extra goat herder. And I really like this character. We'll have that be the first one. And it comes with a brand new goat mold that is based on the classic goat. It's, it's, it's really identical. Looking at them side by side, the old goat that has some spots that are now worth about $95 for this little goat, $95 each. And I've got a couple of these. Uh, so happy to see new goats roll out. Can't wait to see these roll out in other sets. So now they've got the mold. But the goat herder character uh, now introduces this mold for 2024. I can't wait to see more sets use the goat. But it's a cool little character that has got his, you know, herding stick, his goat herding stick and a hoodie. I like the face print on that character. So he's the first one that we're opening up and always like using the enclosed checklist to check off the characters. So let's see what we open up next. Try this one. Uh, and just for the record, I still hate these boxes. I think these are horrible, but having the QR codes and being able to read the codes is a great way to try to avoid getting duplicates unless you want them. So let's check out what this next character is. Ooh, this looks like the Gamer Girl. What is the official title? The Esports Gamer is the official title for this character. Oh, dual molded arms, printed legs. Very nice. But she's got headphones around her neck and she's got a green, green or gray lip, blue, like this blue lipstick. Oh, and she's got a mouse and her computer keyboard, like a neon keyboard. She's really cool. I actually like her. I did not think I was gonna like this character. So she's got her colored keyboard and colored mouse along with her trophy. I've got a bunch of these trophy pieces. I actually really love these pieces. Cool character, cool little character uh, and nice accessories. That's the second character. So we'll put her right there. Let's check out the next one and see what we get. And I'll keep all the like extra pieces in here. Third character. Ooh. This one's really cute. We've got, let's check the official. The official title is the Mushroom Sprite. 
So this one is the little mushroom girl with the adorable mushroom head. And the new printed, or at least I think it's new, the newly printed butterfly in these colors, very pretty, like it's two-tone printed with blue and green. And then she's got the mushroom head. That mushroom head is so cool. Really, really nice. Like that character a lot. So the first three are really solid. I really like that one. Very, very cute character in that costume. Open up the next one. Let's check this out. The pet groomer. So the pet groomer that comes with, I don't know what kind of dog this is. Somebody leave a comment down below what kind of dog this is. That is a cool dog figure. Uh, again, printed legs, printed, printed torso, wearing a vest, cool character wearing glasses. And she's got a cochlear implant as well on the hair. And she's holding the shears to give this big dog a haircut. Well, she's cute too. She's cool, but the dog is definitely the highlight of this hair right here. And that's figure number four. Next up, let's see who else we've got. Another one I was looking forward to, the dinosaur suit. This one is cool. I love characters in costumes. Uh, I love the minifigures in the animal costumes and in the food costumes. Oh, and this dinosaur back printing, printing on the tail, printing on the feet and legs. And he's got a gruff expression on his face. It's, it's kind of funny. And then, oh, the Triceratops head. No accessories with this guy. It's just him, but he's got arm printing and some really great colors and the Triceratops. Very, very nice character. I really love this guy. I wish he came with an accessory, a bone or something or, or some vegetables because Triceratops are omnivores. Next up, this is the fitness instructor. Again, dual molded legs. Oh, cool, a printed kettleball piece is nice. I don't think I've seen that printed kettleball. Looks very cool. And arm printing. She's got a tattoo of some flowers on her arms. She's got tattoos. And she's sweating. One side is a face of determination and the other side is like sweat. And she's got her hair rolled up in a bun. And she's got, is this printed? Yes, it is. Oh, some Vitarush. We love the Vitarush. Love the Vitarush clown. So we got more Vitarush workout juice, dual molded legs, printed arm. Nice, nice figure. She's got, she's ripped. She's got a six pack. She'd be cool in the, in the gym that's above the diner or the boxing ring. Maybe we make a gym. Maybe that's one of the next modular buildings I'll build is a gym that's got like various sports and workout machines. That's an idea. Now we're getting some ideas, but here is the sixth character out of the set cool character as well. You got this black and white character. The film noir detective comes with some fabric. This is for his, his collar for his trench coat. Let's put that collar on. Interesting looking character. He's all like black and white. So he's like retro black and white film similar to some of the, the Disney characters, the Steamboat Willie characters that are in all black and white. Cool collar. I like the trench coat. I like the hat. He could go with you know what, he would definitely go with the detective office, a modular building. He's got a magnifying lens and a red herring. Get it, red herring? He's, that's cool. Dual molded legs. I like this character. He's a cool, he's a cool collectible minifigure kind of character that doesn't really fit anywhere else, but you know, works for this. I, I like that character. Yeah, he's cool, I like him. He's interesting set. I, I, I like the set. I'm liking the set more than I originally thought I would. I wasn't sure how I would feel about this set. Uh, a few of the characters stood out, but then some of the side characters, like these last few ones, weren't really standing so far out. This character's got a lot of pieces. And who is this? This is the train kid. Oh, wow. This train piece is reminiscent to a, the boat from a couple of years ago. There was a character who had a boat and then there was another character that had a racing car. So wow, like the, the train actually has quite a few pieces. And then you can have the kid separated out, but then you can also connect him to have him standing in the train. He's got the, the, the mid legs. Oh, nice. Even, the, even the, the piece up front is printed. It says 25. 
because it's series 25, get it? Oh, and he's wearing an eye patch. Interesting. This is an interesting character. He's got an eye patch. This has got a lot of pieces for a collectible minifigure. I must say that. So you've got the two wheels, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 pieces. And then the extras, extra 25 printed piece for the train kid. Kid, the train kid's got a lot of parts. Much more detailed than I, I originally thought. Cool costume. And I did not notice that print on the face with the eye patch. Looks like he had eye surgery recently. That's so interesting. I love that Lego is doing that and finding ways uh, to increase inclusion and diversity of the characters uh, and have, you know, differently abled characters represented in their characters. You got a character with a cochlear implant and an eye patch, somebody that's tattooed. Uh, so it's very interesting glasses. So you've got a bunch of different characters with different abilities. And that's really cool that Lego is doing that. And you're seeing that pop up a lot more in sets. And who is this? The Vampire Knight. This cape, that cape is serious. That is a seriously thick cape piece. Printed arms, printed back, printed torso, dual molded legs, printed legs. Oh, this cape is fantastic. That is double-sided face. He's got like a mustache. Vampire Knight. So the mustache, and you don't even really see that because the mask kind of covers that up. But then he's got a solid, also another solid shield, and then a spear, what it looks like, like an ax. Oh, it's double. This is, this is a really detailed character with a ton of accessories. He's got holding an ax. The ax is cool with these trans red pieces. So a really highly, the vampire knight. The, the employee at the Lego store was like, oh, you're looking for the vampire right night. And I was like, no, actually, I'm looking for the goat herder. But I can understand why, like, people are really excited for this character. So much detail and so much extra uh, attention to detail on this character here. You've got pretty much everything printed. The legs and dual molding on everything. And that, that cape is really nice. So this is a solid, solid collectible minifigure character that is a real nice addition to the collection. I'm not usually into those castle kind of characters, but that one is, that one is very, very cool. I like that. Moving on. Next up, this is the Harpy. Those interesting like centaur legs on this character. It's got centaur kind of legs. It's got arm printing or are these dual molded. No, that's just arm printing, not dual molded. And then you've got back printing, but it gets covered up with these, the, the neck mount so that you can connect the wings back here. One-sided print on the head because it's just very little hair. It's like this mohawk, mohawk ponytail, and then gold claws. It's interesting, very interesting looking character. Not one I would have like picked up or, or said I liked if I wasn't getting the full set, but it's a very detailed character with a lot of, like I could see this as like an enemy in Ninjago or Monkey King or, or one of those series. A lot of detail, a lot of extra pieces to pull together that build. A cool ca character nonetheless. Two left, and then this is the Sprinter. And again, with the diversity and inclusion of including somebody that is a double amputee. This is a double amputee Special Olympics 2024, uh, the number, and then the medal around the neck, a determined face and a kind of content, happy face after the win. New hair piece, I like that. And then his number one podium. Oh, he's cool. That, I've not seen that leg piece. Uh, and, and I don't think I've seen it in the double leg representation. I think that's very interesting. I think the number of characters that are differently abled just in this set is, you've got the cochlear implant, you've got the double prosthetic legs, you've got glasses, an eye patch. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Kudos to Lego for, for, for really stepping that up. And then the last character is the Fierce Barbarian. Let's take a look at this one. Dual molded legs, printed arms, printed torso, printed back, 
a fierce, fierce expression. Oh, it's like a Conan type character. Oh, this sword is, sword is cool. I don't know if this sword has existed before, but that is a cool looking sword. One side of the face has like war printing on it. And here is the final figure. And that is our set of 12. Let's clear this out of the way and take a look at the full series. Put them together and kind of rate them from best. So I don't know about worst. I, I, this series is actually really surprising. I didn't expect to like it when they were first announced. Uh, some of these characters, I was like, eh, not bad, you know, not great. But some really pleasant surprises in this whole set. Near the top, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm thinking where you've got there, probably put him ahead. Oh, he's gonna be number one for sure, yeah. Let's see. I like how I like how clever that one is. We'll put her at the bottom and the harpy probably at the bottom. Train kids like middle of the road. That one's got that new dog piece. So that one's really cool. That's the order. I'm gonna say this. Just the fact that there's a new goat piece puts the goat in my number one spot. The vampire lord, vampire king, knight character, crazy detailed and crazy cool. So I'm gonna place him. I love characters in costumes, and this is me for me. So characters in costumes are always highly ranked. That dino is so cool for the Triceratops. This mushroom hat alone, like for the Mushroom Kingdom for the Toad characters, this would have, this would be really cute. I'm a sucker for animal characters uh, and for animal figures. So near the, the, the top or middle uh, of the class, we'll have the dog groomer. The train boy, oh, it's very surprising with, with all, all these pieces to put together this cute little train and this molded train, dual molded, dual color train piece. Really cool. The sprinter with the dual uh, prosthetic legs in eighth place. The, we've seen a lot of kind of characters are similar. We've seen similar kinds of characters to the fitness workout and the e-gamer. Um, I just built the gaming truck and it had two characters that were very similar to this. She can slot right in there and it would be fine. Uh, and then the harpy and the barbarian. I'm not really into the fantasy stuff and these characters. Feel, although like the Viking village that just came out, I feel like you can place the, the fierce warrior in there and it would go really smoothly. So really good set, I must say, that I did not expect to like as much as I do. Looking at these characters for the first time, and seeing them all together. I think they are a good set uh, and a good set of characters that, that you know are very high quality. It is very interesting to see how far the collectible minifigure series has come since the beginning where characters didn't come with any accessories. They were very simple characters. You know, you were lucky to get something that was just a little bit different than a minifigure. Now, like what we're seeing here is some characters that are wildly different and introducing some very interesting pieces and parts uh, usage in the characters and, and reintroducing molds that have been dormant for, for years make this series special and, you know, l make me look forward to what else LEGO has cooking up for the collectible series. Uh, I love some of these characters that are really, really cool. Please let me know if you'd like to see more reviews and which character you think is the best out of this series down in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more from Riz Bricks. We've got a ton of buildings coming up and a ton more reviews for the 2024 sets. So stay tuned, take care and stay creative.